Hey, Change Agents, and welcome to another episode of Change Agents TV with me, Tracy V. Allen. Um, I'm the owner of TVA Consulting, where we help our clients develop the systems and processes needed to build and grow a profitable, sustainable, and compliant infrastructure so that they can achieve their mission and realize their vision through education, training, and consulting. But most of all, we help our clients to create impact in the community that they serve. So today we're talking about what investors want to see when you hand them your business plan. So how do you need to craft your business plan or how does the business plan writer need to craft your business plan to make sure that you are attracting the type of investors that you um, want and that when they look at your business plan, they can see clearly that this is an investment that they should be making. They should be wanting to invest in. This is a company that they should want to invest in. Okay, so the first thing is they want to see the financial performance. So if your business, if you've been in business for a while, they want to see that every year or every quarter you're making steady improvements in your revenue that you're bringing in more and more and more revenue that shows that you have a product or service that is worthy to be invested in invested in because remember no matter what um happens with the investors they're looking for a return on their investment so if your financials which is one of the most important parts of the whole business plan does not show a growth in revenue they're going to be hard pressed to invest in your organization or your business because they are looking for a return on their investment. At the end of the day, they want to make their money back and they want to make more money on top of that. So that is what the investor is looking for. When they're looking at your financials, they're looking to see if you started in year one and you were making $50,000 and you're now in year five you should be making 250 300 or 450 thousand dollars and they want to see that every quarter um you are able to increase the amount of revenue that you make exponentially so whether it's by 10 percent or 20 percent you're seeing a consistent growth in the revenue and the type of products or services that you're offering and they're also going to look at the fact of whether or not that you are purging products and services that are just not working and are not making money. So the second thing they want to see is the uniqueness of your company. What is your unique selling point? So whatever it is that you're offering, there are probably 20 million other people out there offering the same product or service. How does your product, your services, how does your company stand out from the rest? Okay, because if you are just falling into um, place with everyone else who's providing the same products and services that you are, then there is no reason for that person to invest in your um, your company because they're not going to get a return on their investment. You have to be able to show how you are unique from all of the other people out there. How do you stand out? How do you get your voice heard with all the other noise going on? Because if you're not able to do that, even without investors, you're not able to make money. So being able to show that clearly in your business plan is imperative when you're looking for investors. And I'm talking, when I say investors, I'm talking venture capitalists, I'm talking partnerships, and I'm even talking getting money from the bank. They're still looking at this whole picture. How are you standing out? So what are your mark what is your marketing plan? That's a big essential component of the business plan that they're going to be looking at to see how you are you have what what your unique selling point is amongst everyone else that's offering the same products and services the next thing that they're going to be looking at is experience in the industry what experience what do you bring to the table so what is your experience in this particular industry that makes you suited for running this company you know so let's say you're selling um some type of a birth control. I, I can't think of anything else right now. So let's say you're selling some type of birth control. What is your background in that area? You know, are you an OBGYN? Are you a nurse practitioner? 
Are you a an uh, engineer? What what or are you a geneticist? What is it that you bring from your past background to this particular business to make you uniquely suited for running this company? People need to know that because they want to know what is going to make you the best person to make them money. So you need to really secure a good resume. Yes, you need to have a good resume with your business plan so that people can understand your background so that they are ready to invest. Because if you have absolutely no um, experience in this particular industry, why would I want to invest in you? Because you don't have any proven concepts that what you're going to be doing is going to work because you've never done it before. So making sure that your experience in the industry is clear and precise so that people actually want to invest with you. The next thing is proven business model. What is your business model? Have you tried it out? Do you know that the systems and processes that you have in place work? Because we want to know that. What type of manager are you? Who do you have in place to oversee the production or the sales force of that product or service? They need to know that these people need to have um, their CVs as well, because we need to know that they are experienced in this area so that they're going to be able to give the company a return on investment, therefore giving the investors a return on their investment. You want to make sure that not only you have a background in the um, industry that you're promoting or looking for investors with, that your management team also has experience in their specific roles. So if they're HR, they've done this before. If they're sales, they have a proven sales record. Your investors are going to be looking at that because at the end of the day, it's about ROI. What am I going to get back from this investment? And they're looking for quick return on their investment. If you're dealing with a venture capitalist, they're probably going to give you anywhere from two to five years to get double the amount of money that they put in. Most venture capitalists want back twice the amount that they put in. So if they put up $50,000, $50, they're looking for $100,000. Some of them are even looking for three or five times the amount of money that they put in. So if they put in $50,000, they're going to be looking back for $250,000 in the next three to five years. So they're going to seriously scrutinize these specific things. And then the last thing that they're going to be looking for is your market size. Do you have a large enough market to sell these products and services on a consistent basis and make consistent money and therefore increase your market share? So if you're making, if you're um, right now penetrating 15% of the market, do you have the potential to penetrate 25% or 30% or 50% of the market? over the next four or five years. They need to see that you have a market size that is scalable, that you're going to be able to increase the amount of money, the amount of people that you are impacting with your products and services over a prolonged period of time. And I did a whole video on market size and why, I think I did. I do so many videos, I don't, I'm not even sure anymore, but I have talked about market size before where I'm talking about like if you're in an area and you're starting a daycare and there are only 20 kids in the whole town that needs daycare services and there's already an existing daycare and that daycare has all 20 people, why would you start a daycare in that town? You need to now look at another town, neighboring town, or maybe t- three or four towns over to start that daycare because you don't have the market size to grow and scale that business. It's the same thing. So we would love to help you to write your business plan. I write a business plan that is worthy of being funded, that is fundable. I have a great record of 90% of my business plans of being funded. The ones, the 10% that have not been funded were not funded because I didn't write a good business plan. It was funded because the business owner messed up on their end with their credit or something to that effect. But we would love to help you to write a business plan that is worthy of being funded so you can get the monies that you need to scale your business to the next level. Please um, go to our website, send me a message. You can email me at um, 
Tracy at TracyBAllen.com, or you can visit our website and send me a message through there at TVACON.com. We look forward to serving you and helping you to write a business plan that is worthy of being funded. Have a wonderful rest of your day.